The 2018 Fantasy Football Draft is right around the corner, and in this episode, we're going to take a look at kickers and tell you which ones you should target in your draft. Hello everyone, I'm Eric Lee. And I'm Gary Kurtzman, and we're the Fantasy Football Consultants. So Eric, let's, uh, you know, the kicker is in important position. Granted, it is drafted uh, lower than some of the other positions, but I'll tell you, if you end up with a good one, that can make or break your postseason play. And it makes it really great that if you have one that you have confidence in, you just plug them in your lineup every week and not have to worry about uh, that position for the entire year. Absolutely. So let's kick off our show with kickers. All right, the rankings, Gary. What are you thinking? Yeah, well, you know, we can start uh, by just sort of mentioning to the viewer, here's how we're judging kickers. So there are a few criteria to judge. One, and this is the biggest by far, what team do you play for and how well do they score? Let's face it, Eric, a kicker for a high-scoring team is going to get the most opportunities, and the NFL is nothing if not a game of opportunities. It is all about opportunities with kickers. You've got to trust the offense that your kicker uh, is uh, kicking for. And that's why you'll see Absolutely. when you go to list, look at the teams. They're all teams that we have confidence in. Um, of course, once that kicker lines up so he can keep his job and he can keep getting opportunities, you want an accurate kicker. Uh, and because the scoring systems for most league are three points for kick for kicks that are less than 40 yards and four points for 40 into 49 and then five points for over 50, you want one with a strong leg. Absolutely. So, scoring teams Team, accuracy, strong leg, and here we go. Who's the top of the top, the best of the best? Well, let's start off with Stefan Goskowski of the New England Patriots. So, you know, Eric, look, the Patriots, they were the second highest scoring team last year, okay, in total points, uh, and Goskowski simply doesn't miss. 85 times he lined up to kick the football, and in 82 of them, that football went through the uprights. Second highest accuracy of any kicker in the league. Eric, just amazingly impressive, not as strong strong a leg as some of the other kickers because uh, he's getting up there in age but man the scoring opportunities and accuracy you can't beat him. He's been there for the last five years he's been usually one of the first or second kickers off the board and that is why he is at the top of our board um, This year sounds like no exception. Yeah so um, and I trust the Patriot offense I, they've been, they move the ball consistently throughout the season and throughout the game they have they have their key stars back from last year. I have a lot of confidence in Stephen Goskowski. He heads our first tier. That first tier, we'll show it to you right now, is Stephen Goskowski, Greg Zerline, Justin Tucker, and Matt Bryant. That's so, right. Good kickers, one and all. And uh, so the next kicker on our list is uh, Greg Zerline. Yeah. So this is the perfect uh, way to explain why picking from a successful kick uh, team is so important. You know, Greg Zerline didn't just all of a sudden become a good kicker, Gary. It was the Ram offense that got a lot better. Um, he had a dreadful 2016 year, um, but it was awesome last year as uh, the new offense came in and the Rams improved. Well, you know, first of all, they got a new offensive coordinator. So, you know, that obviously helped. That coordinator uh, turned Jared Goff from a potential huge bust. Remember, he was the first overall pick in the draft two years ago out of Cal Berkeley. Uh, seemed, I know people throw around the bus term a little quickly in this uh, in this day and age, but it seemed like he might be heading in that direction. Last year, Jared Goff was a uh, legitimate starting quarterback in fantasy football league. The Rams scored the most points of any team in the NFL, and the biggest beneficiary of that was Greg Zerline. Fantastic, huge leg. You know, they call him Legatron, Eric. I always uh, heard Greg the leg. Zerline. Yeah. So he's got two nicknames. Fantastic leg, uh, great accuracy, obviously huge scoring potential for the Rams. They probably only got better in the offseason with the acquisition of Sammy Watson and the bolstering of their offensive line. I, I see great things for him uh, in the future. Yeah, and the Rams trust him, so they will send him out for those long field goals, especially 
especially right before the half. Absolutely. Number three on our list uh, is Justin Tucker. And I have we have him up here not without a little trepidation on my part. And my trepidation is if you look at all the teams, Baltimore is the offense, Gary, I have the least confidence in. Well, you know, that is true. And understandably why Joe Flacco is only getting older. Anytime your quarterback is into the 30s, it's a little bit of a red flag. They lack the marquee. Uh, you know, wide receiver for sure. Um, they seem to be doing a running back by committee, which is never a good sign. But bear in mind one thing. Fourth most scoring opportunities in the NFL. Justin Tucker lined up to kick the ball the fourth most times of any kicker in the NFL. If that can happen even close to again this year, he is the most accurate kicker in the league. And when Number you, one, and he's got an incredibly strong leg. And when you say he's the most accurate, he truly is. Over the last three years, extra point He's made 100% of them. Field goals from 30 to 39, he's made 98% of them. 40 to 49, those are difficult field goals. 95%. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Wow! Yeah. He's not only accurate, but he, they, they trust him with it. They trust him with it. He had the third most opportunities from 40 yards plus and 50 yards plus in the league last year, and he's been in the top three for the last four years in a row. So you just have to trust that. Um, and in a way, you you like that the Baltimore offense gets stopped so much in the, in the <laughs> red zone. So you've got to trust it. Number four on our list is Matt Bryant. So Matt Bryant wraps up our tier one uh, kickers. In 2016, he was the highest scoring kicker in all of the NFL. And everything, Gary, went wrong for the Atlanta offense last year. Um, I think I see a, a bounce back for Atlanta. But even with all that, he was the fifth highest scoring uh, kicker last year. Eric, you know, I uh, I can hear maybe uh, some of the fans out there thinking to themselves, Inconceivable! I can't believe it! I just don't believe it! it it's, it, there are some lists that won't include Matt Bryant in the top tier, and I get why. I completely get why. The Atlanta Falcons had the 15th most scoring opportunities in the NFL last year. Ladies and gentlemen, if there was a definition of the word average in the dictionary, that would be it. And furthermore, you know, Matt Bryant doesn't have a huge leg. He is middle of the road in opportunities 40 plus and 50 plus. He benefited last year tremendously from the fact that with those 15th most scoring opportunities, Atlanta got stopped in the red zone more times than almost any other NFL team in the league. Obviously, that creates a lot of field goal opportunities. That was worth a hell of a lot more than, uh, you know, the one point extra point. Matt Bryant benefited from that. The question is, is he going to benefit from that again this year? Yeah, and I'm going to respectfully disagree with you. As an owner of Matt Bryant in my fantasy league last year, he does have a strong leg. Over the last two years, he's 14 of 17 from 50 plus. The, the Falcons will send him out there for 50 plus uh, field goals. Uh, again, they kick. He kicks in the dome. Dream, dream situation for Matt Bryant. So, you can make the call what you do in your league where you have him. So that is the end of the first tier of kickers. But Eric, of course, our list continues on into a second and third tiers. Um, so now let's uh, let's let's kick it off with the second tier kickers. And, and let's and let's 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 list them out for you on our screen. Our top five. Our second tier kickers go from five to nine. They are Will Lutz from New Orleans, Chris Boswell from Pittsburgh, Matt Prater from Detroit, Jake Elliott from Philadelphia, and Harrison Butker of uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. And Eric, I love Will Lutz. I love Will Lutz at the top of the second tier. Uh, I think he was, quite frankly, this close to making it in the top tier. Um, you know, he kicks for the New Orleans Saints. I love that team. They kick in the dome. Uh, they were the third highest scoring team in the league last year, so you and know he gets tons of And they scored a ton of touchdowns, uh, Gary. Nobody yeah. kicked for more extra points last year than Will Lutz. And you know that that kind of thing just reverts to the mean as far as average 
averages are yeah. concerned, this man could potentially uh, lead the league in points if things break right for New Orleans. And one thing you know for sure about him is not only is he going to get a ton of opportunities in a Drew Brees led offense, but they will trot him out for a 55, 56. They trotted him out, Eric, for a 63 yard field goal. Yeah. Uh, it, it's They trust his leg, they trust the opportunities. Love Will Lutz at the top of the second tier. Speaking of trusting someone's leg, no one trusts their kicker more than the Detroit Lions trust Matt Prater. So Matt Prater is number seven on our, our list, but he has a special place in my heart because if I'm picking a guy, uh, I want someone who's going to get those long field goal opportunities. He had the highest number of attempts last year from 50 plus, and he's not a youngster like Will Lutz or some of the other guys uh, on our list. He's been doing it for a long time. He's reliable. He is reliable. Uh, that offense is reliable in Detroit. And, uh, you know, he has been in that second tier. Uh, Eric, it seems like for at least a decade. He's incredibly consistent. Um, here's somebody who is not incredibly consistent in our second tier because he was a rookie last year. Last year was his introduction to the NFL. His name is Jack Elliott. He kicks for your Super Bowl champion, Philadelphia Eagles. What did he do as a rookie? Well, first of all, he played 15 games. And in those 15 games, he managed to kick for the third most points in the league last year. He put a little star by him uh, because of that great Philadelphia offense that he has a big upside. I would argue he also has uh, a floor uh, that's pretty low. So I just say that because he is so young and because he's been so inconsistent last year. Um, he did show a strong leg, but he was amazingly inconsistent, actually, Gary, from short field goals. Missed several key short field goals. The worst case scenario, will the Eagles lose confidence in him and he loses his job? Unlikely to happen, but that's why I say that you know his potential floor could be low. So with him, do you bet on the best case scenario of ascending the learning curve, getting more accurate, and having tons of opportunities on a very prolific offense? Or do you bet on the low floor, which is he was uh, you know less than accurate, especially on the long kicks, and he's young, which means basically anything could happen in his career. So um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, Harrison Bucker really quickly because he's another one of these youngsters that we have. And I want to mention him because he's number nine on the list, even though he finished second among all kickers uh, last year. I tell you, I don't get no respect. No respect at all. <laughs> so, uh, Gary, um, the problem is he has a grand total of 13 games of NFL experience. And the other concern that we have is he's kicking for the Chiefs, which had a great offense last year behind Alex Smith, who had almost a career year. Will we get that with Pat Mahomes? Yeah, it's, it's a tough thing to say. I, I, I can't in all good conscience, um, you know, put Harrison Butker up in the, in the top tier list of kickers or even in the top of the second tier list of kickers because, um, quite frankly, a Kansas City kicker has never been amongst the top scorers kickers, at least certainly not in the last four or five years. The reason is is because they've always had a good offense, but um, until last year when they basically <laughs> went from a, a ball control. Remember when Alex Smith was called the game manager? It's only been a year ago since he's had that title, and he had that title throughout his entire career. That's how Kansas City managed their offense. They were a middling offense. They finally took the reins off last year and exploded, which got Alex Smith a ton of money. But the question is, are they going to be able to do it again? And are they going to be able to do it again with a rookie quarterback. You know, Pat Mahomes, he was drafted in the first round and he has a huge arm. He's got a pedigree, but can he deliver in the NFL? And Eric, the answer is nobody knows. And as the Kansas City Chief offense goes, so will Harrison Butker. So we gave you our top two tiers of kicker. You might go, well, how come we didn't go further and talk about a top 20? Well, here's the reason. This show is all about finding a star. I'm not feeling sorry for people who aren't very good. If you're interested <laughs> in seeing our top 20, check out our website at uh, fantasyfootballconsultants.net. If you like what you heard of this video, please go ahead and hit that like button on YouTube and that video. And if you'd like to subscribe to fantasyfootballconsultants.net to benefit from all of our videos, please do hit that red subscribe button to go ahead and subscribe and benefit from all of our NFL content. 
And we want to hear from you guys. We're building the community here on the YouTube. So we want to hear from you. We just gave you our top four kickers, our tier one. Here's a quick call to action. List out for you, for us, who your top four are. And until we have our next video, we will see you then. See you next time.